right, so we've gone through the HD access file, and this is really cool because this is all we need. So once this is in place, when I save this, now we can use this. And uh, to use it, we need to get this function that was created over here in this forum post. So let's take a look at that. And again, I'm not going to go through every piece and part of this function. If you want to learn more about it, you can read his post here. But what's important is getting this function. So we want to take from the word function all the way down to this curly bracket. So let's go ahead and take this, copy it, and we're going to go ahead and put this in our sandbox.php. And uh, I want to make sure that we're uh, working in the uh, front end and we're, we're not, this is, uh, these things belong to the back end. So I'm going to close all these. And uh, so we're going to go to the functions folder. And again, make sure you're not in the admin folder. And uh, I'm going to create a sandbox.php, which we don't have yet for the uh, front end. So right click on functions, new file. So let's go ahead and do some PHP tags. And within that, let's go ahead and paste this function. Now the only thing I'm going to change in here, at least at this point, is the uh, name of the function. Parse path definitely makes sense because that's exactly what's going on here. Uh, however, I want to keep it within my uh, kind of naming convention so it doesn't, uh, so it's not out of place. So I'm going to change this to git underscore path. Not a big deal. So save that, but now we need to make sure that this uh, sandbox.php is actually loaded. So let's go to our config folder and open up setup.php. And uh, right here after the uh, functions comment, let's do an include. And put in function slash sandbox.php. Make sure we close that line. And there we go. Now we have access to that function. If we pop back over here to the forum, we see that all we really need to do is just run this function and store it into an array. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember, we changed the name of that function. So let's go ahead and do that up here in the uh, site setup area right after debug. We might have to move this depending on a few things. So we're just going to call this path. And it equals get path. And we don't need any uh, parameters sent to it. That's all we need. So now this path array is going to hold all the information pertaining to our URL. So we'll save that. And uh, in order to see it, let's go ahead and put it in our debug panel. So let's go over to widgets, open that folder up, and open up debug.php. So we're going to need to do a print R with this so we can see uh, exactly what's inside of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy from line 11 to line 15 and paste that copy and we're going to change the first one here to the uh, path array. So down here on line 14 for print R, let's change that to path, and we'll save that. So let's go back over to our page, and now we're going to have some, some situations here <laughs> right off the bat. What I want to do is actually hop over to the setup file, and I want to do the same thing we did in uh, the admin setup file. And let's set our error reporting to zero. So we'll save that. Pop back over to our page and refresh. There you go. So let's open the debug panel. So here's our path. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of parts here because we haven't added anything after the slash. All we have is the base of the URL so it becomes before the slash. So if that was important, if we needed that, we could, we could access that here. But then let's go ahead and add something to it. 
So let's just put the word home right here. And then let's open up our debug panel again. There, so here's the call. And what's going to be really important to us, at least for now, is this call parts array. And uh, I don't remember if I've directly talked about multi-dimensional arrays yet, but that's what's going on here. This is an array within an array. So our path array starts here, and then now this uh, call parts is an array off of the path array. And it's going to have an uh, indexed key, or it's going to be numeric. So it's going to start at zero. So this first section here, or part, after the slash is going to be zero. Now if we add something after it, and let's just change this up. Let's do the, the blog example. So if we do blog slash new jQuery plugin, hit enter. Let's take a look at our path now. So in our call parts, we've added something. Zero is blog, and one is new jQuery plugin. So now what we need to do is uh, do something with this information.